this is Lo-Fi Thrasher Lenny Blade here with the Retro Hunter Thailand show. And you have watched me pick up a uh, working VHS before. Um, I saw an ad on Facebook Marketplace again. This is how you go thrifting in, in these COVID times. Is uh, Facebook Marketplace ads, things like that. So anyways, uh, this guy was selling uh, VCD players and VHS players. And they were stacked uh, on top of each other, like the same model and everything. So I think these may come from some sort of company, maybe even a school. So we'll see if they have those uh, special markings on the back, the inventory markings that uh, at least at, at my school that's how they do it. They would like burn them with a soldering iron or something like that. So on the back, so uh, they were pretty cheap, 500 baht each. And uh, the VCD player is obviously, I, I can hear you asking already, what the hell? Yeah. I. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought it was a cool thing. I'm actually going to use it mostly to play CDs, or audio CDs, in the living room. Um, and maybe the odd VCD as well. I do have a couple of uh, VCDs. Some uh, Alice Cooper, some Metallica, some Doors, uh, some stuff like that. But anyways, um, yeah, let's uh, take a look at this package. I will unbox and I will try them out. See what I got. All right, so we already watched the unboxing in the intro. So the next step is to choose a tape to try out the VCR. And you should choose your rarest, most difficult and most expensive uh, tape to try out the VCR, of course. Um, so uh, what you need to clean is the isopropyl or uh, some sort of alcohol. I use the lab grade 99.99999% uh, you obviously need a couple of screwdrivers because you do need to open up the VCR <gasps> and uh, some cotton buds or cotton bud tops tips thingies and A4 paper I know you want to resist the urge to use tissue because it gets stuck everywhere and it does more harm than good so use a regular A4 sort of printer paper regular stock so the first step of course is to just see whether it turns on or not because if it doesn't then you've got <laughs> more severe problems than just cleaning and this as you can see does turn on so I'm happy about that. So um, yeah so far so good now let's do some cleaning. So before you clean obviously you need to open up. Uh, the VCR, which is a very simple procedure, no surgery skills needed, and then you just uh, lift the top off, and then you can see inside this machine, and uh, what you do is you wet the A4 paper, and then you fold it, uh, so you get like a, uh, where the crease is, you have a little bit of a, of a point there so you can so what you do is you place it in the groove where the video heads are located and then you gently gently touch the drum and you uh, and you move it clockwise if you do it counterclockwise your video will explode remember my instructions are the only way to do this it's the only way to clean VCRs there is no other way And then you also need to uh, clean uh, the magnetic tape path, the left hand path. And uh, so, uh, yeah, to see where that is, uh, you can just pop in, you know, the tape that you wanted to, to use for testing and then just follow the magnetic tape and you'll see which... Uh, which thingies <laughs> inside the VCR you need to clean. Simple. And 
as you can see, it does get very, very dirty and that can get stuck on your tapes and you don't want that. So yeah, repeat this procedure with the rest of the magnetic tape path. And uh, yeah, I just tested it and there was a lot of distortion, which is not a good sign. So as you can see here, the top edge of the magnetic tape is sort of jagged. It has a jagged edge. That means that you need to do some, uh, some uh, manual tracking by turning a screw. Ooh. I will show you. So it's this screw right here on this particular <laughs> model uh, of a VCR. But there, it's easy to find out. You can see it's connected to that uh, metallic part of the magnetic tape transport. So uh, it should be easy to locate this screw and then just need to twist it a little bit um, uh, while you're watching the TV so you can sort of adjust it accordingly. Uh, until there is no more uh, distortion on the screen, of course. And then, uh, yeah, it should be working better. The, um, as you can see, the magnetic tape touched uh, the top part of the metallic part of the magnetic tape transport and that can damage the tapes so be careful with that especially if you got rare tapes as you can see now uh, it's completely flat there's no jagged edges uh, yeah it looks good so let's just try with another tape let's do uh, let's try out with Lorenzo Lamas's a masterpiece final round and uh, we'll see whether that plays perfectly or not uh, this is also a tape that I'm not particularly you know I don't have to be particularly careful about it though I do like the movie I have to say but let's try out okay looks good and even though it is at the end of the movie you can tell that there's no distortion on screen so that is a win for me. So yeah, this Sony VCR is good to go and hopefully it will operate at least for a couple of months uh, before I have to clean it again. Uh, good stuff. And let's just take a look at the magnetic tape itself just to make sure. And yes, it seems unharmed. Good stuff. In uh, conjunction with getting my VCD player, I also got this 007 VCD box set that includes all the movies from Sean Connery up to and uh, including Pierce Brosnan's movies. So, classic Bond here for sure. Which you do by turning a screw. <laughs> <laughs> 